Okay, the diagram shows the pattern of four identical rhombuses. So that, and the key here is the diagram is not drawn accurately. You can't start getting out your protractor and measuring. It's an absolute no-no. You're supposed to use your angle facts. So when it's not drawn to uh, accurately, you use your angle facts. Now we're asked to work out the size of angle marked A, this one here. Show your work here. Right, the first thing we could do is we know that if you have a point, then angles around a point must add up to 360 degrees. Therefore, this so all of the, the angle all the way around here must add to 360 degrees. Now we've got ourselves a 25 here, a 25 here, a 25 here, and a 25 here. So we could work out what all of these must add to if we subtract off those four 25s. So 4 multiplied by 25 is equal to 100 degrees. You get a mark for that. Then these angles here, which I'm going to call um, um, well, these angles here, I'm just going to say, therefore, they must be equal to 360, subtract 100, must be equal to 260 degrees. So each of these angles, I'm going to call that x. x, therefore, must be, there's four of these, and they're equal to 260. So each one must be 260 divided by 4. So 260 divided by 4 is equal to 65 degrees. So each of these is equal to 65 degrees. Why? Well, they're four identical. So that's 65, that's 65, that's 65, and that's 65. Okay, now let's use our, uh, some more logic. So let's draw uh, the rhombus that we've got in each one. So there's our rhombus, like that. And it's four identical rhombus, rhombuses, we're told. Anyway, this is angle A that we're supposed to find. Okay, now a rhombus would have this angle here also equal to A. Now, we found out that this is 65, so this must be also equal to 65. So, if we add all these angles together, it's inside a quadrilateral, it must add to 200, uh, 360. So we've got two A's, add 65 and 65, which is 130, and that must add up to 360. Okay? So therefore, how do we find A? Well, 2A must be 360, take away 230, uh, sorry, 130, which is going to be equal to 230. So 2A is 230. So 1A must be 230 divided by 2. And we just get our calculator. 230 divided by 2 is equal to 115. So 150 degrees.